Welcome to Bangkok. It's my first time in Thailand and I've been here for a week and today I want to show you my day in Bangkok, one day in Bangkok, my first impressions about food, about city, about views, about everything. And one more thing, I'm now in a very unique place. It's Park Hyatt Hotel. But for now, I want to take you with me to my first day in Bangkok, to my first journey exploring Thailand. Let's go! I'm in Thailand and I'm drinking boba tea. Seriously, what a place! It's like a huge video game. Temples, street food, crazy metro lines, seriously. It's my first time in a place like this. I've never seen something like that before in my life. I mean, the skyline, parks, temples, ah! Now we are in a park with lizards. I want to see huge lizards. So, no, we got... <laughs> like we found some huge lizard same size as me and same weight category I would guess we are in Bangkok and we are in such a nice park very cozy very beautiful many lizards really huge like two three meters i would say there are some small ones and they are so cute i have to tell you really nice place beautiful nature beautiful trees all green and it seems like um national park in new york you can see this huge buildings and you can see all this green beauty really locals are chilling here having some type of picnics and yeah a really nice place to go if you're bored of city noises if you want refresh yourself it's a really nice place to go now we are going to the metro and I have to tell you this metro is quite something very clean very simple even I understood the system for the first time yeah and these metro lines in the air under the ground is quite something really you can see these beautiful buildings you can see everything from the window and yeah, let's go. Peek. It's really quiet here in this time of the day. Maybe because it's extremely hot. It's like 34, 35 degrees now. But yeah, <laughs> we are crazy motherfuckers who want to explore this city as much as we can because Bangkok has a lot of things to see. celebrating Christmas for me Thailand and especially Bangkok looks like a huge big mall they're all pretty much connected with each other and it's really extremely cool and beautiful and full of nice food courts nice local shops and of course you can find Zara, 
H&M, even luxury stuff here. And yeah, let's go, let's explore this mall. We were here on a New Year Eve and it was so crowded. Uh, really guys, I never saw such crowded place in my life. And we celebrated our New Year in Bangkok, uh, especially um, on a highway, in the middle of the highway. It was quite something, yeah. And two hours we were trying to get home. It's a movie theater. Crazy. It looks crazy. <laughs> Actually, I'm not a fan of movie theaters, uh, of cinemas. I prefer watching movies at home cozy snacks big huge tv cuddling but sometimes i can go to the cinema and yeah it's it, it looks like palace <laughs> it looks like casino yeah, it's crazy. one of the most beautiful starbucks i ever seen I'm not a big Starbucks lover, again, but sometimes you want just a uh, cafe with some hazelnut syrup with some weird taste and some whipped cream on top, so yeah, uh, wow, wow. proper latte and enjoy your life so we decided to sit here for a bit in this beautiful place beautiful terrace and I'm that weird person who order regular cappuccino or regular Americano in Starbucks yeah with all this variety of sugary drinks I prefer basic but with such a beautiful view, it really doesn't matter. Coffee is just accessory. Look at this, guys. They have crazy food courts. But it's not only food court. They also have some cute shops with handmade jewelry handmade soap, different types of body shops, body creams, yeah, and we are rolling to food court because we are kind of hungry and I want to try everything. I really like Thai cuisine, I like their clean tastes of products of seafood for instance i like their barbecue i like fruits i'm really fan i'm i'm true fan of thai fruits and yeah you see lots of coconut products some crazy looking fruits durians jackfruits yeah, and I have to tell you that street food culture is almost like part of the Thai eating culture. It was always there and it's so good. Okay, Danny is gonna have some rice with pork. And I have no idea what I want to try. I tried already a bunch of different pad thais, tom yam, uh, lots of soups and uh, lots of barbecue. So yeah, I don't know, but I want to try something new and something different. Let's see. So, 
I will be trying what is it? Stewed chicken noodle soup. Let's try. It. So clean, light wedges are so stew. Everything is so stew. Another dish, stewed egg, stewed pork with some rice. And I think that pork is really underrated meat. I like it so much. And I have been a vegan for a long time, nearly a year ago. I started eating meat again. Whoa. And I have something like hypercompensation. <laughs> Carnivore maximum. Yeah, I eat it a lot. Very good. Try the egg. the boat is? No. 50 cents? Really? Yeah. Crazy. Look at that fancy hotel gym up there. Or restaurant. Yeah, yeah. So it was my full day in Bangkok. And now a few words about Park Hyatt. It's a really big building. We had two dinners here, one in a downstairs restaurant, it was a Spanish fine dining, uh, seriously, I've never had uh, such experience in my life, and it was so unusual, so unique, and so delicious, uh, many uh, tiny things that melt on your tongue and you feel uh, multiple flavors at the same time yeah it was quite something and the next day we were on a on the top floor uh, it was 34th uh, yeah 34th floor we were eating the best steak uh, the best fish really nice grill restaurant and the property is so impressive uh, they have nice pool uh, they have and seriously the view from the room is insane it was such an experience to stay here for two days and now I'm in a, one of their terraces where yesterday we filmed a new dancing video for me it was so interesting and during the sunset this sky, skyline looked insane and to check it out I, I will show you basically but more dancing videos more experiences more spices more everything you can find on my Instagram page so don't hesitate to follow me and see you in my next videos I will show you the Thailand I will show you my honest thoughts about Thailand and about the world itself. 
so many things I haven't tried. <laughs> I'm still filming. I will chew in front of the camera very loud. 